Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video, I'm going to showcase a tool which is named as O365 User Finder, which helps us in enumerating Office 365 users. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. So guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. And if you want to be part of my community, you can check out my Discord server. The link is in the description below. So guys, this video, as I uh, told you earlier, re is regarding this particular tool, O365 User Finder. And all the credit goes to the developer of this tool. So uh, the reason why I'm sharing this tool is recently I reported a vulnerability. So this is uh, the vulnerability simple guys, where I was able to find out a PDF or uh, a PDF of all the emails, okay, of the uh, of the employees of their company. So there is company called X x.com example like that and there uh, let us assume there are 200 employees working in that company, and I was able to retrieve all those mails okay uh, of their employees at least most of them see before reporting uh, before reporting what i thought is to check whether they those emails are working or valid or not so i used this particular tool to find out that stuff so i'm going to showcase how i use this tool as well and guys this tool is based on python 3 so you can run this on any operating system which is having python 3 like you don't need to use linux but uh, personally i use linux uh, in this case so it's fine you can use any operating system so uh, i'll provide the leave, uh, link for this in the description below guys for the for this particular repository you can do check that out uh, so i'm going to copy this particular uh, repository and uh, let us clone and let's start uh, let's start let me show you uh, what what you can do with this tool so, so i'm just cloning this guys that's it so git clone uh, and then a uh, small it is a small file okay it's like it's in kbs only so let's go to this thing and in the ls if you do a quick ls you can find out some few stuff here guys so the important thing here as i told you earlier is python 3 so if you are not having python 3 on your linux machine at least if not if you are not have if you are using windows and if you are not having it you can quickly go to the python.org website and you can install that that's fine but for linux so you can simply do sudo uh, apt install uh, python 3 hyphen pip okay and you are good to go so i have i had already done that so that's fine and also guys before running this tool you need to uh, install all the requirements it is even simple so pip3 uh, install hyphen r requirements.txt and you can hit enter so it is going to install some few dependencies or the uh, modules which are required for this tool to run and in the meantime let's see uh, what this tool features about so guys as i told you earlier like i got a scenario where i need to test the mails so so guys the features are like following so first of all you can check whether the website or the company most probably is uh, is using office 365 or not so office 365 if you don't know it is a kind of a subscription so like uh, where, where let us assume there are some companies or universities or anything like that so, so they opt for office 365 pack so they get a a personalized email so let us assume that you're studying for like uh, some uh, abc college so you can something like satvik at the rate abc dot in or like that you can get the uh, stuff like that and also office 60 uh, benefits of office 365 is like you'll get lot of microsoft uh, features or uh, their uh, products like this word etc like that so you can do check that out if you want to okay so that's the thing and you can check whether you can check with single emails you can even check with lot of emails okay uh, so this is what i use so i got like 200 emails and i need to test that before reporting to them so i use that i pasted all those things into a text file and i'm done you can also uh, write them down if you want to so in order to report let us assume that you are reporting to the higher officials you can do write that down and even you can add the timeout so like you can add some timeout between uh, for verification of those mails and also you can do password spraying so password spraying is simple guys uh, so let us assume that you found out that there is a leaked password uh, password at the rate one two three and you got some ton of emails from the company 
okay so what you can do is you can spray those passwords okay like there is only one password but you try to uh, look for all the possible emails that are provided so these are some few options so let's go quickly so we got the uh, requirements installed so let us do quick ls again so you need to uh, give uh, executable right so ch mod uh, plus x and uh, and then you are good to go so so in order to run that we all know uh, hyphen hyphen help is what uh, basically we do okay so even we got some good uh, what you call the information here okay so let's do a quick stuff here so let's check whether uh, there is any uh, domain so let's check let's uh, let us assume that you got a domain so x.com or let's go with tesla.com okay and uh, you can simply provide the tesla.com and you can see like this tesla.com uh, comes with this particular uh, office 365 or etc like that so you can see uh, there are some people like it did a simple kind of uh, uh, default stuff and you can see it works okay like this particular company tesla.com's uh, mail or you can call anything like that uh, tesla.com is compatible with or they have this office 365 so you can find out the emails right now so you got to know that this particular company has this stuff so now you can get emails or if you're already having some emails you can test them okay so if you want to find out the emails there are a lot of tools the harvester the hunter.io there are lots of stuff that you can do okay but for the test purpose i don't want to uh like showcase this on real websites or, or real people or anything like that so here you can see they use with user at the red tesla.com so let's you do that so you can do that that's fine uh let's wait you can see it is a valid email and also guys uh, this particular step that i had shown you is whether it is uh, having it or not it is optional okay like if you are only focusing on a single company it is fine but if you are uh, trying to do like uh, there are emails from different companies or different domains so you can uh, simply skip that step okay and also uh, what you can do is like you can simply create a text file here so, so you can go to the desktop uh, you can create a simple uh, emails dot txt you can add some few stuff user at the rate tesla.com uh user at the rate like these are like test mails guys like in the real life there will be different uh there are going to be different stuff so we can add something like micro uh microsoft.com uh, etc like that you can save that and you can run this tool like bunch of emails at a time okay so for that there is a small option here uh, which is like r you can provide hyphen r option here to provide a large number of email set so we'll do that that's fine so hyphen r and since we are on desktop so i'll specify the file name sorry just a minute so let's provide something like this uh, and uh, this thing so it checks whether they are running or not okay and also you can add the time a uh, timeout as well like uh, if you are trying to run this on a lot of emails then add some good small amount of timeout okay so that your requests are not timed out okay uh, so it is you can see you can getting some few stuff so you can add hyphen t option and you can add some few seconds over there so it goes smoothly okay like without any problem or anything like that and also you can do password spray that's fine if you want to you can do that okay like uh, like as i told you there are tons of options that you can try out with this tool but the mostly the tool uh, the thing that i used uh, is this particular thing so i tested like I, as i told you i got while i'm doing a pen testing i got like tons of emails like i did a simple google docs guys like uh, a simple google doc where i provided the site name and i just uh, in quotes added non disclosure and i got a pdf file okay uh, which consists of all the emails uh, with their reports and some personal data so i tested that before reporting and i found out those are uh, legitimate and so, hence i reported that so you can add this particular tool to your uh, tool set so that it can be really helpful for you so that is it guys for this video uh, i hope this video is helpful for you and uh, if you really like this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are into this kind of stuff and uh, this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you